All right, and then uh, you want to take a look at, you want to talk about this? I got, I can demo it. Say, why don't you tell us, Stacey, what this is, this photo scanner thing? Oh, I thought it was like the phone? Uh, <laughs> what so is this? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen one of these? All right. The photo scanner, Google announced this this week. It basically allows you to take a picture, but it's not actually a picture. So you, you scan an old print picture. So all of your old school print pictures, for those of us who are like older than 25, yeah. you can use the phone as a formal scanner. So it creates a high resolution image. It's not lossy. And it then stores it in Google's cloud where you can presumably organize it and do great things with it. And as I'm about to demonstrate, the thing they say right up front is, Position photo within frame. Tap button to start scanning. Don't worry about glare. Well, this is a very glossy uh, photo. So, okay, I'm going to position the photo within the frame, even though it's kind of weirdly angled. Turns on the flash. Now it says, I don't, you, can you see it? Move this circle over a dot. So it's figured out what's, what it wants. And yep. it says, do this, and I should be able to get a full. So that was four or five images. Nice work. Your photo is being processed. So this is the image, a very glossy image of my friend Winton and Vince Surf in their in Vince wine cellar, it looks like. How well did it do? Not great. Not great. Mm. I have to say that's mm. that there's glare. A lot there of There is it. glare. Yeah. Well, you're also in a studio with a hell of a lot of glare. That's true. It's an unusual amount of light. And, but what it did do is straighten it perfectly and stitch it perfectly. So so that's impressive. Um you can adjust the corners. You can rotate it. Let's see, what else can we do with it? Now nah, that's about it. Looks like adjust corners, which is, you see how it figured out what's square on that from the initial image? I bet you I bet you, I could, uh, I could do another one and see if I'd do a better job of it. What do you think? Should I try again? Yeah. I did one last night and it, it looked good. But again, I was not, it was a glossy photo, but it was not your studio. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, and I think by moving it around, you can only get it so, could do so much to ungloss it, right? That's, let's try one. I'll give it one more shot here. By the way, my thumb is going to be in the shot now. Let's see. All right. Now it's processing it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Look at that. Yeah, it is. Did it take your thumb out? Uh, no, my thumb is still there. <laughs> so I'm getting these little kids. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's actually. It looks like it did a it did a pretty pretty good job. This yeah. would be painful for doing this for right. like all of your photos, but you know, hey, now it, of course it, it is nice. Like I might do it for a couple of my wedding photos. Yeah, because you have prints. You don't have uh, you don't have digital versions of them. I actually have a CD, which wow. I should probably move to <laughs> something. Wow. wow. <laughs> Guess you got married in the eighties, didn't you? So no, I'm teasing you, teasing. Mm -hmm. So uh, once you do this, it gets imported into your Google Photos, where you do have, of course, many more edit uh, tools. Uh, that's pretty cool. I and think it's, it's free. Neat. Yeah, I have I have lots of and I if you've ever done like family photos and wedding photos and those kind of things, a lot of times you have to pay a lot extra for the digital imagery. Right. This is this is a really evil thing for me to do for photographers. So all my friends who are photographers are going to be mad at me. But now you have a way to like be like, oh, I got my one print. Yeah, yeah, they don't like that, do they? No, they hate no, it. That's it, how they make their money. Legitimately, so yeah.